Tom Ford Noir Extreme goes for 120 pounds for 100 mils. Do you want to know how I got this practically full bottle for 20 pounds? I got it through a Facebook swapping and selling group. However, a lot of people object to these kind of groups because you're going to have to buy secondhand fragrances from other people that you don't know online. Here's my solution to you guys. You join our own fragrance swapping and selling group because it's not just that uh, as a group. It's also a community where you get to know other people from around the world who love fragrances as much as you do. You can compare collections, discuss any fragrance related news in the community and yeah, just have fun guys. So you get to know who you're swapping and selling with. I think it's a fantastic solution. We have a link in the description and the comments down below. There is a small $3 monthly fee. However, none of that goes to myself or School of Scent. It goes back to you guys through a monthly giveaway. Some of our members so far have won fragrances like Killian's Black Phantom, Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrances, as well as uh, Tom Ford's Ombre Leather Parfum. Make sure to check it out below, guys. I've always wanted to bring fashion-related content to this channel. I feel that fragrances themselves can be the inspiration that creates an outfit. I don't think there's any point smelling good if you look like uh, pants. <laughs> I also feel that fragrances can accentuate a look or outfit you've already created, making it the ultimate accessory in my opinion. Today we have an article from threadcurve.com, 60 types of fashion styles for men outfit examples. We're not going to do 60 examples, we're going to go through the first 10, and if you guys like this video series we'll do uh, more parts. Let's get into it. Of course, everyone has a variety of looks in their wardrobe. If you're looking for a fragrance that at, you would like to accentuate a certain vibe you're going for, or do you, if you feel like any of these styles speak the most to you or that you gravitate towards to, then check out my suggestions for each of these 10 styles. First, they have the artsy style. Obviously, this is going to be for the creative types, maybe the painters, people who think outside the box, with these bold, vibrant colors. I recommend Dior's Ombre Nuit. Easily one of Dior's best creations. A lot of people like to recommend YSL's Tuxedo as your spicy rose uh, amber fragrance for men. However, I think if you want that DNA, actually, I much prefer Ombre Nuit personally. It's Unisex overall, I feel like the opening is feminine, but the dry down becomes more masculine. It is super sexy, smooth, a really nice, softly projecting uh, signature you can wear all year round. It's just masterful perfumery. It really uh, gives off that creative vibe. It's very different, but at the same time, yeah, just based on how creative this perfumery is, it's perfect for this style. Then we have Athleisure for you gym bros. You're gonna want something light, sharp, fresh, maybe something you can wear during the day and then go to the gym after work with. Your Homme Sport 2021 is my suggestion. I keep mentioning this fragrance in a lot of videos because it is one of the best releases in recent times, in my opinion. I'm not just mentioning it because it has the word sport in it. Not every uh, fragrance with the word sport actually smells sporty, but this one does. It can also be worn as your, your all year signature. I think this is gonna work really well in the summertime, personally. It smells like a um, masculine dominating orange with some sweetness in there that doesn't get overpowering, which is really nice. So it's still sexy, yet still uh, athletic in its DNA, in my opinion. You're gonna get eight hours of moderate projection. Really a beautiful woody isoe super base fragrance that I think any gym going guy will easily appreciate. I don't think this will annoy you whilst you're sweating. Then they have the beach bum as their next look in their article. I'm using a different picture here, which I think looks better from online. And yeah, this is gonna be for you guys who love to spend a lot of time in the beach. Let's say you're a surfer or you live in a hot country. You're very lucky, by the way. Um, so you're going for that, obviously a very light fragrance. This is what you're gonna to want. You want something casual, something fun, relaxed, that matches your vibe. Goldfield and Banks's Bohemian Lime. Easily one of the best citrus fragrances ever made. Sort of think of that the blue Mediterranean line. I feel like it's a similar quality to that, but actually more appropriately priced. It's essentially what you would smell like if you took the Aventus or Roja Elysium DNA and took away the smoky woodiness and you're just left with that really high quality uh, musky citrus. This is honestly one of the best citrus fragrances ever. It has a finger lime note, so it makes it a little bit unique, uh, a little bit more expensive smelling. If you want a really sexy, smooth, 
summertime fragrance that will just match that really casual beach vibe that will never annoy you. Where is your signature in the hot weather? This is beautiful stuff. Then they listed the beatnik style. I, I didn't actually know what this was, so apparently this is what the anti-establishment youth used to wear back in the 1950s. So if you're a rebellious kind, it looks sort of like a hipster, sort of like a Steve Jobs kind of style, actually. Um, <laughs> this is the style for you, with dark, artistic, intelligent. This is the fragrance I recommend. Prada's Lom Intense. The same adjectives, dark, artistic, intelligent. <laughs> it's kind of strange describing a fragrance as intelligent, uh, but I do feel like you will be a sophisticated individual, you'll have a sophisticated taste to wear something like this. This is discontinued, get it if you can, this is a masterpiece. This, this is like an, an expensive smelling niche fragrance in the designer market. It's a shame it's gone, it was 10 hours, beautiful iris fragrance, so it is that artistic the boldness that's in there. Um, and it, it just, it was, it was one of the best iris fragrances ever made. I mean, if you can't get this, go for something like Givenchy's Gentleman um, Reserve, uh, which is a very good flanker from them. Not as good as this, but a good replacement. And then we have the biker style, which is obviously the bad boy look with the leather jacket. You're a cool guy. You're trying to go for that edgy vibe, which, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't ever imagine doing it to myself. Um, I don't know, it just, it just seems to, like you take yourself a bit too seriously. But hey, some guys are naturally like that. They're just very quiet, reserved, mysterious in a sexy way. So actually, you might think, oh, I'm going to suggest a leather-based fragrance, but I will not. I will suggest this fragrance. La Nuit de l'Homme Le Parfum. I don't have my bottle anymore. I, I, I was cutting down my collection. However, uh, you know, if I didn't own Blue Electrique, I would have definitely kept it. It is a very sexy flanker. It is the bad boy version of the original La Nuit de l'Homme. It lasts a good solid six hours. It's more peppery, punchy, creates a statement while still being fruity, sweet, and having a high amount of sex appeal. If you don't like that fragrance, also I feel Azara Wanted by Night fits this. Um, style, but I don't like Azara Wanted by Night that much personally. Then we have Black Tie, which I appreciate will not be a look you're going to wear frequently, unless, I don't know, maybe you work in that environment um, or you're an opera singer or something, I don't know. Uh, but hey, everybody needs that really special fragrance that really elevates things when you really want to feel that you're putting out your A plus game. Um, so this is the fragrance I recommend. Zergioff's Naxos. Lavender, honey, and tobacco. Perfectly balanced, perfect harmony. This fragrance is one of my favorites in my collection, and I feel that I just can't rock it because it smells so expensive, it smells so elegant, I just struggle to do it justice. You really have to elevate your style game to match the perfection, the, the mastery of perfumery in this bottle. And of course, uh, this is a £210 fragrance that I got for £70, a third of the price, through that Facebook swapping and selling group. So again, even more reason to check out our own group in the description and comments down below. Next, they have the Bohemian style, which I don't really understand what that meant, but um, I think that what they're saying is you're artistic and free-flowing. So they got this picture of this musician, uh, I'm trying to think of, you know, someone who's a musician is going to be cool, they're going to be the center of attention, but they're going to need to have something on that's appealing to a lot of people. Honestly, YSL YEDP is what I think would work here. It's loud, mass appealing, casual, but at the same time not annoyingly common like Sauvage. So I feel like this kind of style, this fun and free-flowing style, can just grab this every day and just apply it. Even guys who have a large collection will appreciate this because sometimes you just need that dumb reach in your collection you don't have to think about. It lasts 10 hours with a you know moderate to strong projection, this stuff. Now they have the bro look, which means that you're, you apparently have a lifestyle that involves a lot of sports, hanging with other bros, and seemingly eating a ton of wings which is an interesting description. Um, I'm going to just base it off of this picture. I'm seeing this casual look with sort of like a lumberjack beard and uh, plaid shirt style. I think something woody here, something casual and woody is what I would um, recommend. Comme des garçons florientales. Plum, 
incense, and most importantly, sandalwood. This is one of the sexiest sandalwood fragrances that does not get talked about enough in the community. An easy signature wear that lasts at least eight hours with a moderate projection. It has sort of that dry woodiness to it that makes it more creative than most designer fragrances. I feel that if you want to get into one of the most creative houses in designer perfumery, Comme des Garçons, this is a good one to start off with. Next, they have business casual. So if you work at some place like a tech startup, maybe this is the the common look you go for each day. So here you're going to want something that, you know, demands some respect, but it doesn't go too formal, too stiff. Um, so I know this phrase I'm going to recommend is common, but I still think it's a perfectly works here. And that is going to be the Creed Aventus DNA. But I'm going to recommend Club de Nuit Eau de Parfum as that's what I have. I can't justify buying a full bottle of Aventus for myself. However, I do think the DNA is perfect for a business casual style. I think maybe when Aventus was more rare back in the day, it would have been, you know, seen as a more expensive smelling scent. But I feel like because the the, the uh, DNA is so common now, uh, you actually can wear it as, as a business casual. It still does have that clean formality to it as well. Uh, I, I think Club de Nuit Eau de Parfum definitely suits the environment because it smells more expensive than the Eau de Toilette. It does, the, uh, the, it does that look, the uh, business casual look more justice now. Smoky, citrusy pineapple with 12 hours longevity and a moderate projection. I'm wearing it now and I feel that it does suit this business casual uh, look that I've got going on here with my shirt. And finally, we have business formal. We're going full formal now. <laughs> you really want to demand respect with your style and your scent. And I'm going <laughs> to give to you guys now a masterpiece in this sort of uh, presentation that you're going for. You know it is Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette. A masterpiece woody orange vetiver that gives you complexity, gives you a distinct scent, massive performance. So if you're the kind of guy who has to stay in the office for over 12 hours, this fragrance will still be with you. Moderate projection, lots of compliments. This will easily become your best friend. This literally smells like uh, just an amazing signature that most people will fall in love with. The opening can be a little bit challenging. However, once your nose gets used to it after a few wears, you end up loving the opening as well and it just becomes more smooth, clean, and woody on the dry down, a masterpiece. What did you guys think of this video idea? Which style do you feel represents you the most? And which fragrance do you feel works the best with a particular style? Make sure to check out our other video where we talk about the best fragrance for each profession. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.